Perhaps, you've heard individuals, talking about the stomach bug, or stomach flu, going around at work, or your child's school. But what is it? Let's discuss. The scientific term for this illness is, viral gastroenteritis. It's an inflammation of the stomach, and intestines caused by a viral infection. Its symptoms develop, within 24 to 48 hours, after exposure to virus. Several cases of the stomach bug, recover within a couple of days. Viruses that most commonly cause it incorporate, norovirus, rotavirus, and adenovirus. Stomach bug caused by a rotavirus, or norovirus infection is highly contagious, and the most common way to contract the virus is, from direct contact with someone, who is sick. One can also contract the virus, from contact with something, touched by someone infected, that contains their stool, saliva, or vomit substance with the virus in it. If anyone has the stomach bug, he or she may have one or more of these symptoms. Diarrhea Stomach, or intestinal cramps Nausea Vomiting Fever Weight loss Joint aches Muscle aches Thirst Headache and General malaise After several days with a stomach bug, dehydration may be developed. Watch for these signs, and symptoms of dehydration. A decrease in urine output. Dark urine. Dryness in mouth or throat. Dry diapers. A lack of tears in babies and toddlers. Fast heart rate. Low blood pressure. Excessive thirst and dizziness, especially when standing. Babies may have sunken eyes or fontanels when they become dehydrated. Dehydration may become a serious concern so, the symptoms of dehydration should be watched and medical attention should be sought if any of these symptoms occur. It is critical to get plenty of fluids. Adults and children can drink fluid replacement solutions with electrolytes to stay hydrated. These drinks along with water will help to restore the body's hydration balance. For best results, few sips should be taken every half hour to an hour. Sugary drinks or sodas should be avoided as these liquids don't replace lost electrolytes. Taking in ice chips or drinking plain water is one more option for staying hydrated. Once an individual feel ready to eat again, he or she should give the stomach a break by slowly introducing bland foods into diet such as Cereals Whole grains Breads Potatoes Bananas Vegetables Fresh apples and Plain yogurt Dairy, alcohol, caffeine, and spicy foods should be avoided that might upset the stomach. Even though, the stomach bug is at times called the stomach flu, the annual flu vaccine will not prevent it. In addition, antibiotics will not help treat the stomach bug, because antibiotics work to treat bacterial infections, not viruses. It is imperative to take measures, to prevent oneself from transmitting the stomach flu, to others. An individual is typically the most contagious, when he or she is feeling the worst, and a few days afterward. The bug can stay in the stool, for up to two weeks. Hands should be often washed, and after feeling better, the folks should stay home, from work or school for at least a few days. The baby should get the vaccinated against the rotavirus, when they're two months old. Depending on the immune system function, and overall health, viral gastroenteritis may become severe enough, to require medical attention. However, numerous individuals can usually manage their condition with rest, hydration, and at-home medical treatment.